In the last lesson, we learnt when to use addition or subtraction in puzzles. In this lesson, we will learn to create questions with addition and subtraction. One night, Chanda was returning from her shop. She found a book on the way. In the book, it was written, there are some pictures here and there is a blank space below them. Write the correct questions related to the picture in the blank space. Chanda picked up the book and took it to her home. This was the first picture in the book. Here, there are 20 gold coins in one pot and 16 gold coins in another pot. And there was a blank space below the picture where a question related to the picture was to be written. After thinking for a while, Chanda wrote down a question there. There are 20 gold coins in one pot and 16 gold coins in another pot. Then how many gold coins are there in total? Chanda has now made a question of addition. Children, we can also make addition questions like Chanda. To make addition questions, we use words like Total number of things. Suddenly, the two pots filled with gold coins appeared in front of Chanda. Chanda was not able to believe her eyes. Children, can you make another question as well on this? Absolutely right. Here, there are 20 gold coins in one pot. And in another pot, 16 gold coins. How many more coins are there in one pot from another? Likewise, we can make a subtraction puzzle as well. Now Chanda immediately turned the page of the book and she saw this picture. There are two diamond necklaces here. One necklace is 15 centimeters long and the second necklace is 22 centimeters long. Chanda immediately wrote this question. There are two diamond necklaces here. One necklace is 15 centimeters long and the other is 22 centimeters long. Which among these necklaces is longer? And by how much? Children, Chanda has made a subtraction question here. Whenever we have to compare the difference between two numbers, then we can use subtraction. To create subtraction questions, words like how much more, how long, what is the difference, etc. can be used. Yay! On Chanda's neck, suddenly the 22 centimeter necklace appeared. Yay! Chanda started dancing happily. Yay! The next day, Chanda tells Babban about her magic book. Out of greed, Babban borrows the book from Chanda for a day. Chanda gives it to him happily. Babban opened the book very excitedly and he thought that he would himself make a picture in the book and write the question. Babban made this picture. Then below that picture, Babban wrote this question. There are 15 lockers here. Out of those, 10 lockers contain diamond jewels. 
How many lockers are empty? The moment Babban wrote the question, five lockers appeared in front of him. Babban went mad in happiness. But as he opened the lockers, they all were empty. Babban became sad. He thought that this time he will make the picture with more thoughtfulness. But as he went near the book, the book disappeared from there. Babban again started crying for becoming a victim of his greed. Children, in this lesson, we learned to create question puzzles of addition and subtraction.